Hi everybody, in this video I want to show you how you can do member only or private or unlisted streams from your PlayStation to YouTube. Now you're probably very well aware that if you hit the share button on your PlayStation controller um, and you go to broadcast gameplay and then you go to YouTube you don't have that many options about controlling your stream. You can put a different title, different description, you can add some tags, you can change the quality, but you can't change lots of other stuff. You can't change the thumbnail, you can't change um, you can't change the monetization, you can't put the game tag on it, and you can't make it member only or unlisted or a private video, which is a bit of a problem. However, it is doable, um, and it is doable by using a third party service that is free which is aircast so this is aircast now i've got to put full uh, thanks to a chap called las curry or laz curry um, for this is the video that i saw that, that turned me on to aircast and being able to do this sort of thing so he has got a really good tutorial that shows you how to um, link your uh, youtube account with your uh, twitch account so that you can do what we're going to do uh, in a minute. Um, so make sure you check out the tutorial. It's very good. Make sure you subscribe, subscribe to his channel. Loads of great information. And very, you know, thanks to Laz Curry for doing this. So what Aircast does is for free. Again, let me just show you basic free. That's all you need. <laughs> what it does is it takes your Twitch stream and sends it to YouTube. And because it sends it to YouTube, we can then use the YouTube Live Studio control panel to control many parts of our stream that we can't do directly from our PlayStation 4. So what you need to have done is you need to have gone to Twitch and you need to have set yourself up with a Twitch account. And you need to make sure that you can stream to Twitch from your PlayStation. Um, so if you... Um, go to settings I'm not exactly sure where it is on a PlayStation 5 but if you go to um, where is it let's find it sharing and broadcasts and then you go down to link with other services there they all are twitch Twitter and YouTube so you want to make sure that you're um, linked with twitch and you want to do probably do you know do, do some test streams where you're just streaming to twitch to make sure it works okay and then work your way through uh, las curry's uh, tutorial video and basically what it involves is creating a, a free aircast account um, and when you're in your when you're signed into youtube if you go to the create button top right corner and click on go live that then takes you to the live studio control panel and you go down here to the stream key and you copy that and you you create a destination stream and you put your stream key in there and then you put auto start on everything and what that means is when you start streaming to YouTube from your PlayStation so when you when you hit share on your controller and you broadcast gameplay and you go to Twitch and you fill in the stuff and then you say start broadcasting the magic will happen however don't don't do that yet <laughs> Don't do that yet because what you want to do is in the live streaming control panel here this is where you can you can put the stuff in so you see where it says edit up here so you click on edit and this, this is really powerful this, this is what should be in on the on the playstation so you can change the title as you'd expect like there you can add a description excellent here we go here's the magic here's the visibility so we've got public members only so those paying members to your YouTube channel you can now do a members only stream from your PlayStation which I think is pretty cool isn't it a members only stream to your PlayStation love it um, then you've got unlisted and then you've got private as well other things you can change you can put um, the game title you know so it will, it will turn up in the right uh, category on YouTube you can upload a custom thumbnail you can add it to a playlist and you can turn monetization on as well so they get a nice little advert so you may well earn a little bit of cash from your stream maybe not when it's up straight away but especially afterwards when it becomes a vod on youtube you know people will get adverts on it so there we go that's how we do it we basically we don't stream to youtube we use aircast 
that so we stream to twitch aircast streams it back to youtube we use the live streaming control panel to enter the details we want now there is a bit of a delay so when you start streaming to twitch it'll be about a minute at the moment anyway before your stream starts to appear but once it does appear the latency between twitch and youtube is, is just a couple of seconds so it means that when you're talking to people in chat or they're asking you questions it will be about stuff that's still relevant to what you are doing right there and then in the in the stream it's not like it's a minute behind all the time it's very very workable um, now obviously you will be streaming to twitch at the same time <laughs> so you know people will probably pop up on here and then start saying stuff um, and start asking you questions and things like that um, but there we go that's uh, that's how you do it so give it a go um, tell me what you think if you've got any questions put them in the question section below the comments if you've enjoyed the video hit like if you want to see more of the same press subscribe and i will of course see you again soon